All right, we're with Doug Zeek from North Central South Dakota in Walworth County. Doug, really good to talk to you and uh, look, looking forward to hearing a few more things about uh, our common philosophy towards soils and, and holistic systems. Uh, but before we do that, Doug, just tell me a little bit about your operation, what, what you're up to right now, uh, how many acres you farm, what are you farming? Okay, sure. Well, like Buzz said, we're in north central South Dakota, uh, about 40 miles from the North Dakota border, about 10 or 15 miles east of the Missouri River. Uh, we run cattle and uh, we, we run them, we background them over the winter. You could say we leave them on the cow and do a, a cheap grazing thing on corn stalks over the winter. Then we'll run the yearlings on grass uh, until sometime in this fall and let them go then. Uh, crop wise, we have corn, soybeans, wheat, oats, and warm season and cool season cover crops. About uh, four or five years ago, I uh, started dedicating a fourth of my cropland acres to full season cover crops. And that's kind of evolved into uh, really liking the way the warm season cover crop mixes work. The sedan grass, pearl millet, German hay millet mix with uh, six or ten other things mixed in with it. I kind of got started down this road probably back in 2007. Uh, South Dakota No-Till Association organized a bus tour up into North Dakota. And we went up to Gabe Brown's place, and, and I can still picture him standing out in a cover crop field, a uh, warm season mix that was about this tall, and uh, talking about how he was going to graze that and how he was buying less fertilizer and using less herbicide. This was the end of September. So uh, I ran home and I, and I rounded up some winter triticale and some hairy vetch because he said that was a slam dunk. And I ran out and planted that yet like the first week in October in some soybean ground that we'd combined. And threw in a few turnips and radishes just to, to have a little fun. And, and, uh, that kind of That's kind of where things started. After that I started going up there whenever I could because what they were saying was interested me, interesting to me. And then I got connected with the South Dakota Grasslands Coalition, too. They've got a grazing school down in Oklahoma in the fall. And what I found there was the people in the grazing circle, the progressive grazing circle, were a lot of the same people that were in the progressive farming circle as far as using cover crops and, and cutting back on things. So it was, a, it was a holistic network that was building up. And not holistic floppy hat bib overalls, but holistic <laughs> looking at the whole picture. Right. You know? Yeah. I was a little afraid of that term at first, but then I learned that it, it means looking at the whole picture. When we think of holistic, uh, in, instead of thinking of, of radical viewpoints, what I've learned that holistic really means is looking at the whole picture, looking at how things are interconnected. And in nature, everything is interconnected. <music>